Brewing local spirit, the local word, well known, is a process that takes and consumes more than 10 days. We are bringing you the process and know how this procedure under the segments go. Love Media is here to give you the true primary evidence on how this is done. Discover Africa by subscribing Love Media. I brew local alcohol. And this is through the bananas locally plants that as we get this from banana plantations, we keep it for six days. We dig holes in the ground where we cover it properly with polythene paper bags. And when we get these bananas, we put it into the covered polythene paper bags in the ground and cover it for six days. The intention is to help them ripe faster. And after the six days, we bring it out and we begin peeling the bananas one by one. The reason as to why we do this is because it is the process under the segment of brewing local alcohol. I have levitated time in this business. And I have done this for a living. It has helped me as a single mother. I have taken care of my children. I have taken care of my day-to-day -day life and my relatives have also relied on this business. There are retailers who come here weekly for this alcohol. They come and pick it from my home. Some people come for one jerrican and others come for as more as as many as they can so as long as i have it in stock this is how she does it she covers the bananas after harvesting it from the plantation the reason as to why Nakitende does this is because it is the right process, the procedure of growing the world. That is the first step. She shows you how she does this. Having harvested the bananas, she covers it before the raping of the peels as the first process. The reason is for helping it get the warmth, the temperature, so that it can ripen as fast as possible. The procedure takes six days. And after six days, Nakitende tells how the process, the second process takes. You rip up the peels for the presses to take place. The sixth day, Nakhtende with the children are busy working to see how the second step goes on. This second step in the hole that is prepared, dug under the ground, well covered with polythene paper bags. This is where she puts the peeled bananas for fermentation process. After, she covers it well for the next three days.
After the three days, Naktende explains, I begin grinding the bananas using my bare feet. The truth is that the feet used by Nakitende are not washed, they are not cleaned, not cleansed. But it is the process because, according to the courage of the people who brew local alcohol, it is stated and said that if one cleans his legs, then the product will not be of quality. It is a culture that has stayed for a limited time. It is a norm that people who brew local alcohol, they don't clean their legs. And that is because they believe if you do so, then the product dies. Having finished with the process, Nakitende goes for the third process. The segment is that she will again cover the same product for some other days. And this process is called the fermentation. She ferments it by covering so that it is moistured for some time. It is not known to very many who take the local alcohol, the local brew, that the people who brew this do not hygienically wash or clean or bathe their feet. But it is also stated that the alcohol, according to its quality, it kills germs. And it does not matter whether the, the producer followed the hygiene steps of health standards. And this is the reason as to why in most African countries issues dealing with the standards are not followed. And the government does not care about this. The National Bureau of Standards has given a deaf ear on this because it is a culture alcohol. The reason as to why it is covered for some days is because fermenting it helps it grow and become stronger and with something of quality. Having finished the process, she now takes a step of cleaning her legs. For the next episode, please subscribe for part two. If you subscribe, you'll be notified through a notice that the second episode is there that will be premiering 